Another load of muck is being dumped above ground at the access shaft to the Twin Tunnels excavation for the Seymour Capilano filtration plant. Uh, we call it the access shaft because uh, everything that's uh, being built goes through this shaft and also everything excavated being taken away uh, uh, through this shaft. The shaft is 11 meters in diameter and 180 meters deep. Workers take an elevator to the bottom where the temperature is a constant six degrees. At the bottom of the shaft, a perpetual rain falls, the result of the cold air from the surface meeting the warmer underground air. A grate opens in the floor of the access shaft, allowing the muck bucket to be lowered into position. Rail cars carry the granite from the tunnel head, which is dumped into the muck bucket to be hauled to the surface. Every day, about 67 carloads of granite are excavated. Each train load is five cars and represents 1.5 meters progress. The work proceeds under the watchful eye of the patron saint of miners, Saint Barbara. In her hand is a Davy lamp, which was used to detect methane gas in the early history of mine work. Special diesel engines, with scrubbers to reduce emissions, carry the workers from the base of the access tunnel to the boring machines. We are in the passenger car of the train that's on its way from the Seymour shaft to the front of the excavation. The excavation front is approximately 4.8 kilometers from the Seymour shaft. This train ride is going to take us approximately 20 minutes. The work goes on 24 hours a day, two shifts of 10 hours for the boring, and four hours for maintenance. But it's way too high of a gauge in there anyways. It should only be at 50 or 60 PSI. The machines are 600 meters underground at this point, just a little bit west of Grouse Mountain. This is the tunnel boring machine, uh, approximately 18 meters in front of us. There is a cut ahead that actually excavates the rock. The cut ahead turns. It, it crunches the rock, the rock gets scooped up and it gets placed, put into the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt takes the rock to the back of the machine where it gets dumped into those uh, cars. The boring machines have large grippers on either side. In order to move the machine forward, we need to apply the huge amount of force through these grippers into the side wall. Uh, that allow us to continue excavation uh, forward. Goran Jaka, the senior engineer on the project, pays particular attention to the tunnel surface. Each crack and fissure has been mapped and entered into a massive database. Tunnels are being excavated to granite. The quality of the rock varies from really good that does not require any support to the uh, uh, some of the support at the crown of the tunnels to the support with uh, wire mesh and the bolts that comes down to uh, the spring line of the tunnels. Uh, some of the weaker sections uh, have even uh, still sets uh, erected to, to support the rock. As the maintenance crew finish their work, the next shift of miners arrive to begin boring. The boring machines move forward about 20 meters a day, and it's expected that the tunneling will be completed in 2010, with water flowing in 2013.